Welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today we're going to show you how to cut up a piece of video that you've received or that you have into the individual segments that are in it. So sometimes you get uh, a piece that you have to cut up into different scenes, but it's all one video file. There's an auto selection tool or a, scene, a cut detection tool that will help you solve this. So we'll take a look at that when we come right back. Someone has asked if there was a way to automatically cut up a piece of video into the individual scenes. Yes, there is. And it's built right into Resolve and it's very easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to use that. We're going to start on the media page. And before we even import it, we're going to browse to the file that we want to cut up. And here I've got this piece of video here and it's these different waterfall shots all from the same place but there's all they're all in one file so we want to separate those into individual clips I think there's four of them in here so we're gonna just go over and right click on that and go to scene cut detection now normally this will work really good as long as there's a, a big difference in the scenes and in one case in here we'll see where it doesn't work and we'll show you how to fix that so I'm just going to go to Auto Scene Detect. And it's going to run through and try and find all the individual pieces. And you see where it puts the green line is where it believes a cut should take place. And over on the right hand side, we have the frame and the starting time code of that particular scene. So there should be four lines in here when it's done, and yet there's not. There's only three. And if we scrub through here, let me play this, we'll see that there is another one right there. You see that cut? Let's go back. So there is a distinct cut right there. So we just need to find it. And I'm just going to scrub one frame at a time until I find that spot. Should be right around here. There it is. So, see it right there? So I'm going to go to there and I'm going to come down and hit Add. Now I've got my four different or one two three four five five different shots from this one file now I'm going to say add cuts to media pool okay now I can close this window and I see all the different segments that are in here as individual files within my media pool now if I go to the edit page I'm just going to grab all of them because they're still selected and drop them in place and I'll just squeeze them up there and if we did it all right we should have all the individual clips so we're coming up on the first one and good cut come over to the next one Got a good cut there. Good cut there. And should have a good cut there. So if you need to split up a file into multiple pieces based on the scene, this is one easy way of doing it. Again, it's not going to be flawless, but it's probably going to do a good, good job so long as there's a big difference from scene to scene. Like you saw in this one example, there was one that was very similar and it was actually probably taken just a few seconds apart from this in the same location, but there was a difference. So we were able to detect that there should have been a cut there, but Resolve didn't think it was a big enough of a difference to automatically create a cut. So you do need to make sure that you watch it and go through and make sure that it did get all of them. But as a 
quick and simple way of splitting up a file. This is the easy way of doing it using DaVinci's cutscene detection. So short video today, but I hope this is going to help somebody out. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified. Oddly enough, 78% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribers. So subscribe, get involved, be a part of the community, help each other, and get information from other viewers when I sometimes screw something up because it... That happens once in a while. I'm only human. If you don't like it and you're going to do a thumbs down, tell me why so I can try and make these videos better. As always, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.